Lord Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, unfathomable divine mercy, cover the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Jesus, King of Mercy, we trust in you. This is Vanjie Pasquale from BWIZ, and we are here to share the echoes of the heart, what's yours and what's mine. Kumisan, we just try to hold on to each other, but then again, it's not that simple. Kasi po, when you try to hold the hands of the person you love, the person you love the most, sometimes... Yung taong inaasahan mong who will hold you back may not hold you as tight as you want to be held. And even if the situation is like that, that the person that you love the most is not really 100% with you, for you, and in front of you, bakit tayo nagpapatuloy na at naggagawa nating Ipagpatuloy ang relationship. What are we afraid of that we cannot let go of this person? Or what are we afraid of that we are, we are, ganyan lang, parang nagpapakalunod ba tayo or tinitiis natin? And whatever undertakings that are happening around us, just because we love the person in front of us so much. And marami pong ganyan niya. You sacrifice a lot because you feel that the person across is really your one and only. And naniniwala ka na meron niyang forever. So, ang nangyayari sa atin when this happens to us, eh, we cling, we hang on to uh, the... To the person na kala natin magbibigay sa atin ng kaligayahan. And then, kasi nangyayari, we depend on, on the person para sa ating kaligayahan. And we sometimes forget na the person across us is, hindi siya yung ano, hindi siya yung talagang magkangay makakasama natin forever and ever. So, what are we hanging on to? What are we holding on to? na umbaga eh hindi tayo makamove on hindi tayo maka let go pero just the same some people are successful doing this because some people at the end of the day minsan umaabot pa nga sila sa 50 years anniversary nila kapag tinanong mo sila anong nangyari bakit kayo nakatagal when people know na medyo turbulent ang kanilang relationship and they would say yung isa tiniis niya yung feelings niya yung lalaki naman hindi umamin kahit kailan. So, uh, naging habit yung hindi naman nagsinungaling, hindi lang nagsabi ng totoo. Ano nga bang pagkakaiba nun? Ano nga bang kinalaman po nito sa ating pong reality check for today? Ating reality check, are you good in concealing your feelings? Nagtatanong lang po dito po sa Echo Salad. It's hashtag me time. Dahil yung heart ko, lagi na lang for others, think on your toes. And the hashtag na yan, ang ating reality check. So, balik po tayo dito sa ating reality check na pinag-uusapan natin. Are you good in concealing your feelings? Yung ba ay dapat na may master yung concealing ng feeling na yan, ano? Sometimes, 
when you try to master something that is against your will, but you just have to do it, then it becomes correct na sa buhay natin. And there's a little parang story or kwento or tula na padala sa atin o natanggap ko through a friend, no? Binigay sa friend ko at tapos binigay sa akin. Sabi sa akin, Banjo, gamitin mo sa Echoes. Baka sakaling maging makatulong at magkaroon ng uh, kaliwanagan para sa iba. It's a very poetic situation. And um, it talks about hold me. And it goes a little something like this. Whenever you are near me, I feel different. When your eyes look at me, it seems you see me from within. Parang sarap, di ba? Pag malapit ka sa akin, ibang pakiramdam ko. Ako ganyan, misa pag may sakit ako, pag yung aking somebody important sa akin, na dadalawin ako, gumagaling ako. Tapos kumisa, ina-eye to eye ako, parang kumisa, nandiliit ako, parang nakikita niya kabuot, kaibutura ng aking puso kasi kung makatitig, eh, makalaglag. <laughs> makalaglag, di ba? And then another part is, ah, uh, My heart cannot contain the happiness it is giving me kapag kayong malapit ka sa akin. I am not good in concealing my feelings. Iyon ang sinasabi niya na kinalaman sa ating reality check. Ang sinasabi niya pag kayong malapit siya sa isang mahal niya, ang pakiramdam niya nagbabago. Hindi niya maitago itong pakiramdam na to. When your eyes look at me, iyon, sinasabi niya din ang kahulugan nito at yung happiness na nakukuha niya. Tuloy natin. I always wanted to tell you, just hold me and make me see your eyes. Just hold me and make me feel your heart. Just hold me still. Just hold me and make me live once again. Palagi natin sinasabi sa Echoes of the Heart na it only takes one smile to start a friendship, one touch to show you care, one soul to make a difference in the life of other people. So, ika nga, yung, yung taong kinakausap mo na sinasabi niya, whenever you're near me, I feel different. When your eyes look at me, it seems you see me from within. My heart cannot contain the happiness it is giving me. I'm not good in concealing my feelings. I always wanted to tell you, just hold me and make me see your eyes. Just hold me and make me feel your heart. Just hold me and make me still. Just hold me and make me live once again. Hindi kinakailangan boyfriend. Hindi kinakailangan jowa. It could be yung alaga mong chitsu. Yun lang pala yun, no? Kasi sabi nga, your puppies are your best friends. They are very loyal. Or katulad ni Tina, yan yeah, may puppy. Or somebody na a picture of a, a loved one. Or a little child na ang pamangkin mo. O yung anak mo sa pagkadalaga. Or anak mo sa pagkabinata. If you find the value of these people or individual or things around you, and then they will hold you and sustain you, then you are on the right track. And it's okay uh, if you're not concealing your feelings because it's good. It's good that you are sharing your emotions with, this, um, with the world. And this is what we're talking about dito po sa Echoes of the Heart sa ating pong reality check. So, sa ating pong mga listeners out there, especially this time of the year na we want not to be alone, uh, ayaw nating maging malamig ang ating gabi, ayaw nating maging makulimlim ang ating morning, or sa dinadaanan natin, gusto natin meron mga twinkle-twinkle lights, then Be with somebody, be close to somebody, be near with somebody. And that way, you will feel different. That way, you will feel happy. 
That way, your feelings will come out. That way, yung eyes mo mag-sparkle. That way, you will feel the other person. That way, you will live once again. Do not hold back your feelings. Be responsible in handling it. But if it's a good feeling, affirmative one, share it to the world and enjoy living a happily ever after life. Yun ang sinasabi natin, my forever. Ano nga bang kinalaman nito sa ating pong reality check for today? Are you good in concealing your feelings, especially during the season? Nagtatanong lang po dito po sa Echoes. Of the heart. It takes more than good intentions. It takes skills, practice, and commitment to growing. Tanggapin ang mga nakanting bahagi ng iyong pagkatao. To accept the parts of us that were already lost in the past. Keep on a heart-to-heart advice. We're back dito po sa Echoes of the Heart and ating pong... Ikipad na yan would mean uh, it takes more than good intentions. True. Yung practice, yung skills, your commitment to growing is very, very important. No? Marami na sa bahagi ng ating pagkatao, buhay natin, na nakanti. Kaya nga eh, nagkaroon ng dent. Tinamaan, nasa gasaan, ang iyong pagkatao. So, ano gagawin mo? Accept the parts of us that were already lost. Nakaraan na yun eh. Keep the heart-to-heart advice. How do you do that if you're alone? Look at yourself in the mirror and sing the song. You are so beautiful to me, can't you see? Meron tayong mga letter sender dito na we would like to give um, weight on because sa relationship natin, be a man or a woman, there should be trust. Trust sa sarili. People, ka nga eh, we tend to, ka nga eh, camouflage or we lie to the reality. Nagsisinungaling tayo sa katotohanan sapagkat natatakot tayo sa ating relationship na baka mawala, maputol. Because ang ating layunin sa buhay ay to become dependent on a relationship. Pag wala tayong relationship, ang feeling natin wala tayong kwentang tao. That's why we do everything to sustain the relationship or to start a relationship sa pagsisinungaling. Meron tayong letter sender dito na a very responsible lady who met a very responsible guy na byudo, and then they fell in love. Hindi ordinary ang kanilang love affair because they needed not to get the consent of the family because they feel that they are responsible couples. Walang issue sa pera. Ang issue, alamin po natin yan sa ating kwento na ating letter sender na Celine, si Celine, Bahagi po ng ating Echoes of the Heart ngayon sa ating pong Radio, 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 Radio.
nagpunta pa siya sa akin, umuwi sa akin. Nag-shopping kami. Where do we go from here? Oh, we're back dito po sa Echoes of the Heart. And you heard the story of Celine. Celine is one lady na galing sa isang pamilyang may lahi. Hindi ko alam kung lahi ng sinungaling kasi ayaw niyong sabihin yung katotohanan sa kanyang pinakasalan at may lahi ng cancer. Kapag ba ikaw ay may cancer, magsisinungaling ka. No? Ang nangyari sa kanya, ang expectations na sinet up niya sa sarili niya. Meron tayong kasabihang, the shoe is too big to fit. Naglagay siya ng sariling sapatos at pinipilit niyang punan, hindi niya makaya ng punan. Yung kanyang boyfriend na asawa, wala namang, I don't, I don't think may expectation, palagi ko na frustrate lamang sa pagsisinungaling ni Celine, na hindi niya sinabi na mastectomy na pala siya. Wala na siyang breast dalawa. No? So, what happens next is that, Saan magtutungo? Ano po ang inyong sa palagay na magiging um, ending ng kanila? Meron bang ending or a new beginning for the two of them? I feel, Celine, that your husband, like what you said, felt cheated because hindi na sa kanya bago ang relationship eh. To think... Nagalit, nanggaling na siya sa isang relationship na namatay ang asawa niya. And he, ang kanyang goal ay magkaroon lamang ng a good life. The second time around that you failed to give him at the beginning. Celine, it is not yet the end of the day. This is already a big struggle for you, for the two of you. But if you will be able to pray a little bit more for enlightenment. Pray for your husband na matanggap niya. But sabi nga, nasa Diyos ang awa, nasa tao ang gawa. So what do you do? Why don't you try to counseling, Celine? Mag-counseling ka. And then, ask the counselor to guide you on what track you are going to take as far as your concern, hindi mo na sa asawa mo. Yung sarili mo lang muna ang iintindihin mo. Sabihin mo kung anong nangyari sa'yo, ilabas mo lahat ang damdamin mo. Do not conceal your feelings. Trust your counselor. I can even recommend you to one counseling group who could help you. Again, Celine, begin with yourself. Catharsis, iiyak mo, ibuga mo lahat ang pakiramdam mo, and then, try to forgive the past generation kasi lahi mo ang may cancer. No? And don't try to believe the lie na everything will be okay because you lied. Through counseling, you will be advised most probably to be as part of it, to learn to forgive your family tree, your past generations na nagkaroon ng karamdaman. Forgive meaning accept, no? And to accept meaning do not be afraid to tell other people. A counselor will put you where you are supposed to be. Yung mga cobwebs mo, mga issues mo about your self-worth kasi ang iyong kakayanan, ibinilalagay mo sa sarili mong itsura. Na maganda ka, uh, you're a mature person, career-oriented ka, uh, you, are, uh, you have a stable work. But then again, akala mo mawawala ang iyong kakayanan sapagkat nagsinungaling ka tung tungkol sa iyong karamdaman. Magaling ka na naman eh. Ano ba naman ang ikakatakot mo pa? So, just that part muna, Selena, no? That's my point. In the process of counseling, the catharsis, etc., you will be guided as to when the counselor will call for your husband. You can talk to your husband about 
going to a counselor later on. Saka na lang. Asikasuhin mo muna ang sarili mo so that you can come to terms with yourself. That I am Celine, that I have to do something about myself, and I should learn to accept and embrace that thing that happened in my past and to my past generations. This is a very spiritual journey, Celine. If you will be able to brave at puntahan mo ang counselor mo. A priest, a doctor, yung kaibigan, okay lang, pero usually kaibigan, nag-e-end up kayo ng bir eh. Tsaka pizza, toma, ito eh. You go to a professional counselor. There is one in Ateneo, dyan sa Katipunan, online Zoom, Center for Family Ministry, CEFAM. This is a, they have group of counselors there who could be able to guide you on how to rediscover yourself, how to reinvent yourself, how to, how to, ika nga yung, the little Celine, paano mo aalagaan yung baby Celine, nung malaking Celine? Reparenting the child in you, Celine, no? Balikan mo yung panahon, na bata ka pa, bakit? Kasi ang tanong mo, You cheated, you cheated on him, you cheated yourself. Bakit nagkaroon ka ng ganong pananaw ngayon? Ano ang nangyari sa pagkabata mo? Babalikan niyo yun. Kapag sumunod ka blow by blow ng ganyang steps, Celine, you will see how invigorating, how very liberating you will feel at the end of the day. And once you are ready and you are healed, you have to heal yourself sa nangyari sa'yo, sa familia mo, kasi baka sabi mo, kasi mami ko meron din, lola ko meron din cancer eh, parang mga kasi sila eh, kasi sila, so kaya tuloy ako ganito, but then again, if you will be able to forgive your past generations, you will be able to embrace what's happening to you then, that is the time, then you can start your relationship with your husband, Re- ikaw nga i-reboot, reboot ulit, ang expectations mo, ia-adjust mo. Because we don't know the reaction of your husband later on. Now, nakikipagkita sa sa'yo, mahal ka rin nun eh. Pero yon confused din. Kasi ang nakikita niya sa'yo, nagsinungaling ka sa kanya. Pero ang nalalaman niya sa puso niya, mahal ka niya. Kumbaga, nalilito siya, ano pang kasinungalingan mo ang magagawa mo sa kanya in the future. That is very hard to reconcile for somebody like your husband na who, fe- who love you so much, who loves you so much, but he felt cheated. So, yun, ire-reconcile niya yung sarili niya through a counselor. Ay, matinding dasalan to, si Lynn. Ako, matinding luhuran sa simbahan to. Kayo tuhod mo rito. Lululuhain ka rito. Lord! Lord, patawad! Lord, patawad! Ganon, ganon katindi ang sitwasyon mo, Celine. Hindi lamang yung, it's a regular thing. Kasi hanggang pagtanda mo na yan. Learn to forgive your family. So, so asawa mo naman, yun ang kanyang problema. Yun ang kanyang sitwasyon. Na mahal ka niya, pero sinungaling ka sa kanya. Gusto ka niyang balikan, pero baka umulit. Ano pa kaya ang kanyang kasinungalingan gagawin? Kasi kung nag, major, major yan eh. What else are you capable of lying about sa asawa mo? So, kailangan mawala sa utak niya yun if you really want to give it a shot once again. And I'm sure, Celine, your husband, with the way he takes care of you, nagsashopping kayo, nagkakofi kayo, paglaseng, you hope your intimacy. O, di ba? Kasi jowa ka niya eh. And there's nothing wrong in that. So, ang sinasabi ko lang, para lang, in, kumbaga, yung pagkakamali natin tawagin mo ginawa mo ay matulungan mo siyang matanggal din sa kanya yung kasi yun ang naging effect mo sa kanya eh na, ma- na magamot din siya mahil din siya through counseling because if it's just the two of you it's difficult be possible but how can you assure him that you'll never cheat on him again how can you assure him that in ganun bang klase it has to be a third person clarifying things between the two of you that way 
Kung hindi man kayo magka-reconcile, at least, tagawan mo ng paraan ang pagkakamali mo sa kanya. Huwag mong iwanang ganun lang si Lynn sapagkat dadalin mo yan habang buhay. Dadalin niya yan habang buhay. And si Lynn, ikaw, because alam mo na na it's wrong to lie about situ your situation, you can move on and get into another relationship and tell the truth this time. But this guy, your husband, just in case you get an annulment, I don't know, and he, he might not want to get in another relationship anymore because, number one, namatay na ng asawa. Number two, niloko ng pangalawang asawa. And it comes in threes. So give him a break. Kumbaga. So allow him give him a chance give yourself a chance and give the two of you the chance to forgive each other and maybe later on you can get together again if during the counseling tatlo yung resulta niya ni Selena no? number one you will continue with the relationship both will have to agree number two delay Give reconciliation. Give yourself some space. Discover the world. Sige na, hanapin niyo muna ang inyong kaligayaan, katotohanan. And then, decide. Ika nga, you decipher, you, you do make value of your life. Ika nga, if you wanna, mawala muna kayo sa isa't isa. Pero kapag nawala muna kayo sa isa't isa, make sure na kayong dalawa ay may pakinabang sa iba. Gets? Hindi pwede na kahit wala kayo. Basta um, ganon. If you cannot be, if you want to disappear from each other, make sure you are beneficial to others. Kasi, uh, mauubos ka. Para kang iuurin, no? Mabubulo ka. So then after that, ang pangatlo, again, number one, together na kayo agad. Number two, wait. Think about it. Number three, no more. It's bye-bye time. These three reason, answers, malalaman nyo ang katotohanan if you go to a counselor. Natotoo. Celine, there's no such thing as um, free lunch. Walang libre. You will invest, you will have to pay a little bit, so, uh, or give some, some token um, donation. Sa so, Sefam, they don't really charge in Ateneo. Center for Family Ministry in Ateneo, sa katipunan ang alam ko they don't really charge you can give donation uh, yung hope yung masarap merienda ganun pwede kang magpamisa this is run by the Jesuits no ang sefam was put up by father the late father of Ben Tanseco Society of Jesus So, dyan, maliwanan sa ating po mga listeners, kung kayo po ay nangangailangan ng counseling for couple counseling or single counseling or family counseling, I assure you that Sefam can help you. Why do I say that? Kasi po, graduate ako doon. Alam ko yun. <laughs> See, uh, uh, kidding aside, Celine, I congratulate you for sharing here in Echoes of the Heart your story. No? And, and I hope and pray that healing will happen to you and your past generation. Na mawala sa isip mo, in one way, maybe in your subconscious, I don't know, kasi sabi mo, may kami, mama, mama ko, lola ko, ganun, ganun, ganun. Pag na nasa mind mo. So, mawala yun, accept, 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 forgive, And then your husband, ganun din na hindi naman siya niloko. Kung baga, he came from fear, fear of failure. Siya ay naninimbang, give yourselves a chance. Celine, it has been a wonderful sharing that you did. And uh, here in Echoes of the Heart, I'd like to play a beautiful song for you. That's also part of what you... You know, we we played in your songs, no, and in your in your story. So I just hope this little little Christmas song will make you will serve as an inspiration, not only for you, 
but for our listeners who are in trouble as far as the relationships are concerned because of the self because of the other one kumbaga it takes two to start a quarrel it takes one to end the quarrel Celine this song is for you Dito po sa Echoes of the Heart. This is Vanjie Pascual, DWIC 882 sa inyong mga pitan. And sa ating po mga listeners out there, how are you celebrating the day? What are you excited about? What are your goals in the coming years? Sabi nga, ito na naman tayo. And we are grooming for another, for, to become a better person. We are grooming to be this and that. And ano nga bang kinalaman ito? sa ating pong reality check. Are you good in concealing your feelings? Ako? Minsan yes, minsan no. Nagtatanong lang po dito po sa Echoes of the Heart. Going back to that reality check, no? Concealing your feelings. Ano nga bang bakit mo itatago ang feelings mo? Iba yung concealing your feelings iba yung ilalagay mo lamang sa puso mo, tinatago mo ang pakiramdam mo. Pareho ba yun? You keep it in your heart or you're concealing your feelings. Pwede rin pareho rin siguro yan, ano? Kasi, si, si, si Mama Mary, ganyan eh. Yung lahat ng kanyang hinag, ni minsan di mo na rin nagreklamo. Yung anak, sigurado yun si Jesus, sigurado yun, nung malit yun, ay pasaway din yun. Diba? Two, ano, um, yung toddlers, yung two impish two, sigurado nagpas naghatakbo rin yun. Siguro nag-ano din yun, nagpuyat-puyat din yun, umiihi sa gabi, wow, mami! Ganun-ganun din yun. Pero hindi siya nagreklamo. Kasi, she puts it all in her heart. Sigurado nung, nung silang dalawa ni Joseph na tinuturoan siya ng pagkakarpintero. Actually, hindi naman siya karpintero eh. Ano siya, yung parang gumagawa siya ng mga metal-metal, gano'n. Kasi nung panahon ni Jesus, uh, mga simento, mga concrete, nung baga, no? Kasi panahon ni Jesus, malang kahoy. Walang gano'n, mahal. Puro lang, puro lang alikabok, puro simento, ginagamit nila. At saka si Jesus nangongontrata. Naghanap talaga siya ng trabaho. So yung talagang trabaho niya, hindi sila talagang carpenter per se na, siguro household use lamang, but he was never really a carpenter na per se, na may martilyong lagari. Hindi po gumagawa sila ng mga pang-construction. Mga kasi, tiyan mo, ginapano nang nabuo yung mga building panahon ni Jesus. Construction, kumbaga, nagle-labor. Nag, yun ang ginagawa niya talaga. Yung pagkakarpintero is, hmm, talinhaga. Ah, talinhaga ba ang tawag doon? Yun. Ba't ko po alam, galing po ako sa bahay ni Jesus. <laughs> galing po kami doon sa nag-pilgrimage kami sa bahay ni Joseph. And this was all explained to us. So, he, they were not really carpenters, but they did carpentry. And uh, nagpupunta siya sa mga grupo-grupo ng mga tao. Naghanap siya ng negosyo. Kasi, kailangan din nila ng pera. Kasi, mahirap lang sila. Ganon ang kanyang buhay. So, um, Maria kept everything in her heart. Kinonseal niya sa feelings niya. Yung mga nangyayari niya. Hanggang sa lumalaki si Jesus, ay hinuli, pinako sa krus, ganun yan, hindi siya nagreklamo. Pati nga yung pagbubuntis niya, hindi siya nagreklamo. Ba't ako? Ba't ako kabata? Ba't wala mo akong jowa? Parang ganyan, ano? Hindi ah. Sabi sa kanya ng angel, lack and sex, wala. Kaya kay Joseph, wala, no? Sabi niya, wala. Wala akong reklamo. Wala akong reklamo. Lahat na yan, joyfully tinago niya sa puso niya. And then, habang lumalaki si Jesus, no, nawala pa. Nag, nawala ng tatlong taon. Sa nagpunta, hindi niya malam. Siya na, na, tapos ng bata pa, pauwi na sila sa summer, going to Israel. Ba, nawala yung bata. Aba, nasa itong anak kung to? Ba, binalikan yung nanap itong mag-asawa. Nakita na doon sa simbahan, nagsisermon doon. Anak! Ay, nahanap kita. Ba't wala ka? Si Maria, sinabihan siya ganyan. Sa, anong sagot ng anak niya? Di ba tayo rin ganyan sumagot? Pamunanin mo dito naman sa mga friends ko eh. Yan sagot ni Jesus sa kanya. Sabi ni Jesus, bakit mama, bakit ba? Nandito ako sa bahay ng tatay ko. O totoo naman, that's the house of his father. So parang si Mary, 
hindi niya makagalit. Ano ito yung sasasabi mo, anak? Ano ba yan? So, hindi siya nagre-reklamo. She kept it all in her heart, joyfully looking at her son. Are you good at that? Concealing your feelings. Because Maria kept it all in her heart. Lubaki yung bata. Hala. Tapos, uh, nakilala yung pinsan niya. Oh, sinong pinsan niya? Si John. Hi, John. Sabi niya, oh. Sabi niya, naku, dadating si Jesus. Naku, ito yung, this is my Lord, sabi ni John. Naku, hindi ako, wala akong karapatan. Hindi ako karapat dapat na hawakan siya kahit na aking ano lang. Yung sandals niya, naku, he's the Lord, sabi ni John. Sabi ni Jesus, binyagan mo ako, sabi niya. Binyagan mo rin ako. Sabi niya, pinsan, you're the Lord. Hindi, binyagan mo rin ako kasi regular na tao lang ako. Sabi niya, para gel tayo lahat. I'm just one of you. I'm an ordinary person. So, ang nangyari, kasi magpinsan yung dalawang yan eh. Uh, ano siya, binabtay siya ni, binabtay siya ni John. Uh, dun sa River of Jordan, dun siya bininyaga ni Jesus, no? And then, uh, kasi he wanted to make it a point na siya ay katulad din natin the regular guy. So, yun siya, no? And all this, alam ni Mary lahat yan. And she didn't, she didn't say anything. She just kept it in her heart. Bakit ko po alam yan? Kasi galing ako sa Jordan, eh. <laughs> hindi lang store. Of course, we know that by the book, no? And then, nagkaroon din po kami na experience ng baptismal in Jordan. Kami po. Yung eksaktong saan bininyagan si Jesus in, the, in Jordan, ay dandun kami at nakaputi rin kami. Talaga yung tubig na galing doon sa River of Jordan, meron silang baptismo, yung bilog na ganyan. Pero kami kasamang pari, kami lahat ay binigyan, bininyagan. Doon mismo sa spot kung saan tumayo si Jesus, doon kami sa isang tumayo. At kami ay bininyagan lahat. So, kaya nga gano'n. So, but Mary kept it all in her heart, concealing her feelings. So, feeling of joy. Lumaki na si Jesus. Nagpunta na siya sa kanyang mga ministry, ganyan-ganyan. Until, hala, hinuli. Ay, hindi, pero meron pa isa yung may kasalan sa wedding in Cana. Kasi, si Jesus, alam mo, in time ni Jesus siguro, lagi sila may party, they're always drinking, they're always, they always had wine, lagi may gano'n, inuman sila. Kasi, it's always a celebration kasi, when the groom is there, kumbaga, siyang ating boss, siyang ating love, ang ating Lord. Pag nandun ang ating Lord, ang ating boss, hindi ka pwedeng paiyak-iyak, kailangan ano ka, happy. Happy ka, you, you know, you're always in celebration. So, merong kasal. O, oh, siyempre merong mga wine, maraming bisita. Maraming maraming bisita. Totoo yun, ano, it's, there's a wedding. And then, uh, matagal ang kasalan dun eh, mga sa linggo, pa party ng party. On the third day ng wedding nila, doon sa Cana in Galilee, no? Yan, kasi Pasko naman eh. Napansin ni Maria, naku, sabi sa mga waiter, wala nang tayong wine. Ma'am, wala na ho, ma. wala nang wine. Ubus na. Totoong naubos kasi tatlong araw na nagpa-party eh. So, tumakbo kayo si Mary kay Jesus. Nak! Wala nang wine. Daming tao. Wala nang wine dito. Ang sabi ni Jesus, Um, wag mo akong isama dyan. It is not yet my hour. Hindi pa ito panahon para ako'y gumawa ng milagro. Hindi pa ngayon. Yun ang sinasabi niya kay Mary. So, sa Maria, o di, di, di wag. <laughs> Ganun, baga. Tinignan niya lang anak niya. She kept it in her heart. Na siguro kahit naman nun, siguro nanay, nag-request naman yung nanay sa ano, kaya ganun naman. O sige na, hindi nila ako kay Kibo. Sabi yun sa mga tao doon, sa mga, mga waiter. O, oh, kung anong gusto ng anak ko, sundin niyo lang. Pero sabi ni Jesus, kasi mahal na mahal yung nanay niya, labs na labs niya. Nanay ko to eh. Paano ko itong tatanggihan? O, sige yung mga, yung mga banga dyan, puno niyo lahat ng tubig. Lahat puno, puno, puno niyo, sabi ni Jesus. Sa mga servants. Ayan. Ta-da! Three, two, one. Ta! Naging wine. Naging wine lahat. Kumbaga, yan yung first sign na ginawa ni Jesus na may Raquel sa kasalan yun. Mary kept it all in her heart. Okay, fast forward. Ah, uh, are you good in concealing your feelings? No po. 
Sige, mag reality check mo tayo, mag break muna tayo. Ang ating pong reality check. Are you good in concealing your feelings? Ako? Slight. Nagtatanong lang po dito po sa Echoes of the Heart. Feelings. We're back dito po sa Echoes of the Heart. And then, okay, concealing your feelings. What happened naman when when Jesus was at the cross? Yan, yan ha, mamamatay. Nandun si Mary sa foot of the cross. Siyempre, sakit yun. Makita mo anak mo nakapako sa cross. Did Mary complain? Yung sinabi, dumayang wala. She kept it all in her heart. Concealing her feelings kasi alam niya anak niya Diyos. So talagang, she's, she's the most obedient apostle. So ayan. So, are you good in concealing your feelings? Maria kept it all in your heart. Kuminsan po, tao lang. We try to do that because uh, later on, marirealize mo na mayroong benefit din ito. Hindi laging ina, ika nga eh, hinaharap ang mga sitwasyon. But you know when to speak and you know when to conceal. It has been um, a fruitful afternoon for us. And... Uh, sa ating pong pagsasama ngayong hapon, I, I do hope and pray that sa ating letter sender na si Lynn, she will find peace in her heart. Sabi nga niya eh, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So, you've been down and out, Celine, but worry not because the good Lord will give you even more uh, in quantity Uh, compared sa suffering mo, na joy bibigay niya sa'yo. Kumbaga, huwag kang mag for as long as you come to terms with yourself and come to terms with the changes you have to accept in your life. Forgive and love will go on. So, dito po sa Echoes of Night, this is Banji Pascual, and I hope you're having a grand time. Anong ulam niyo mami ang gabi? It's December 10. Ilang tulog na lang, matagal-tagal pa bago mag-Christmas. But nevertheless, I'd like to thank Fred for taking over, ha? Salamat sa iyo, and I hope you miss me. <laughs> This season sa ating mga kasama dito sa DWIC, patuloy po natin, ika nga, eh, be good uh, servant leaders of our community. Do well with the job and uh, always keep on falling in love. The time has come and we have to co- sort of conclude the program. And once again, sa ating poem na binasa kanina, just hold me and make me still. Just hold me and make me live once again. Ask the Lord to hold you and hold on to Him and experience that love is that a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Embrace it and feel the warmth of a loving heart. For love is indeed incredibly beautiful. Sa Tagalog, ang pag-ibigay ka na hindi pang minsanan lamang, yakapin ito damin ang init ng pusong nagmamahal. Tunay na ang pag-ibig ay puno ng kagandahan. Celebrate the limitless capacity of having an open mind and a loving heart. Listen, for love and heartaches are truly echo.